So I've been really good leading up to this point about capturing my LinkedIn network. So making sure everyone I know that is using LinkedIn, I'm connected to, and then my, the clients that I've worked with, I connect to, the places that I used to work, I connect to. So I actually had probably like, by the time you connect and connect and connect, I probably had a few thousand people that I was connected to on LinkedIn. Um, so what I did is I go, I went to my LinkedIn network and I got all my first degree connections. And I basically, anyone who worked in marketing, right? I kind of like looked at, you can, you can download your connections from LinkedIn. I don't know if people know you can do that. You can go to LinkedIn and just click a couple of buttons and LinkedIn will spit out your entire database if you want it to of connections. But basically you just get a simple, it's a spreadsheet and it's just a list of names that you have. Um, and I, now I, I, you don't have to go this step. I actually put it into HubSpot just so I could work with it a little bit, but all, all you need is a spreadsheet. And I literally just went name to name and each day sent or each day or week sent a certain number of emails that I'd committed to sending every week. That it, when it was really simple. It was you know, like, Hey, it's Kevin. I just wanted to reach out and say hi and let you know what I'm up to. Um, I recently started my, this new business. And so I'm just letting everyone in my network know what I'm doing these days. And I'd love to hear what you're up to as well. Uh, let me know if you're up for a chat. It's just like one or two sentences. And it's just a friendly like, hey, I'm just letting people know what's going on because a big thing has happened. Um, and that message alone, I would say at least, at least, if not more, at least 50 to 60 percent or more people write back and go, hey, that's great. Yeah, let's catch up. Because well, who wouldn't? I, yeah, I, I mean, it's a it's a low, I, I guess, barrier to entry. You're not, you're not pitching something. You're not selling something. It's just saying hello and starting a conversation. And, right. and that's the way to do it. And I feel like a lot of people get scared thinking, oh, we're going to go and I'll pitch my friends or all the coworkers. Like, no, yeah. Just, and you don't even hi. have to pitch. You don't even have to pitch. Yeah. I think if you know people, right. If you, if you, if you actually know someone in real life, imagine having a conversation face to face with someone and someone says, Hey man, I, I just started a new business you would naturally be interested in going, oh, well, tell me about that. What's going on with you, right? So it's that kind of interaction. You're not actually pitching or selling anything. You're just making people aware that you're doing this. And, 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 and as a natural part of that process, you're going to run now into some people in those follow-up conversations that say, you know, that's really interesting. I actually know somebody that works at this company. Yeah. I'm happy to put you in touch. And those things naturally start to come out of it. So I think if, if you can at least be diligent about it, right? Make a list and every day or week commit to three, five, 10 emails, you're naturally going to get calls with people or coffee meetings with people that are going to lead to other things. Yeah, even if it's just in the back of their mind, a year later might pop up in, in, in their business, in their work life. And they say, oh yeah, I remember Kevin's doing this thing. I'll, I'll reach out to him. Like I remember he, he started that, uh, that business and it might not happen right away, but yeah, even a year or two down the road, just because you had that conversation, they could be clients or refer yeah. somebody to you down the road. Yeah. I think in the early days, it's easy for entrepreneur, entrepreneurs when you're under the, you're under pressure to generate revenue. It's like making this thing work. You're under pressure to make it work. Or maybe you're under pressure to like put food on the table and pay your mortgage. And when you're under that pressure, it's easy to look at every conversation and think, how can I turn this into a sale? And I think that's the wrong way to look at it. I think in the early days, the most important thing is just let as many people as possible know you exist in what you're doing. Like that's the number one thing yeah. is to reach as many people as possible and make people aware. You're not going to sell your first 10 people you talk to. Like um, I think people tend to, like if they really need what you're doing, they'll self-identify. 